Life with Chigar Gang. How y'all doing? So today is a good day and nothing serious. We just out for the sleeve um, event. There's an event. I don't know why it's called the sleeve deal, but it's an event. Actually, I got invited. I just needed to come out so you all can see what's been happening in Port Harcourt City lately. Apologies, I wasn't able to attend the second day of um, the trade fair in Port Harcourt. I got more vlogs coming on for you all. I just got here. And as usual, I need to update you all. My car is parked right there. It's actually noisy there, very noisy. I don't know why their generator is that loud. Anyways, I came up to this distance to let you all know what's happening here at the slave event. And it's gonna be late, trust me. Follow somebody, let somebody follow this. Yes, on Instagram. I don't know if it's on Instagram. Let me Let me shake you. You deserve shake. Uh huh. Let me on Instagram. Life with Chigo. How are you now? I'm fine. Let's meet Life with Chigo. Chigo is a YouTuber. Nice to meet you. Chigo is a photographer. Oh, cool. Just tell them to subscribe. You see people that are finding you, you're far. I've seen Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm not streaming. I'm always vlogging. Yeah. I mean, okay, so you're you're videoing, right? Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah. Should, should connect. Yeah. Connect. They said you connect. Yeah. Connect. That's Where's the camera? Where's the bed? Where's the bed? Where's the bed? Yeah. Sam said, "Lena, you can carry me along. I'm, I'll follow you." Yeah. Me, I'll subscribe to yours too. <laughs> me, I'll subscribe. I'll start channel. Uh, I don't have phone. No way. We'll buy phone. No Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> when did I go? When did I go? Get what? Okay, okay, okay. Everybody, okay. You understand my no matter. Why are you whispering for my camera? Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 And just in case you're moving around and you see something, you can get whatever you see. Let's say as much as possible. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we are here. Why is she complaining? <laughs> because I'm supposed to be angry. The whole place looks good, I swear to God, I've not seen art like this in this city before. Ever since I started this YouTube channel, I've been seeing a lot of interesting things. This is a plus for me, to be honest, this is a plus for me. I'm sure you've seen the art, the art actually looks great. To so all the um, flowers, to the animal head, to the cap, to the picture frame, you know, all this. Even the detailing, like in a lot of things that they did, I swear, this looks good. So just in case you need artwork or any of all the shit, you all know where to come to. It's the other room at um, D-Line, yeah. The event looks, you know, good. A lot of persons are here. Uh, the artworks are looking very presentable. I came alive. If you have watched to this point, I want you to hit the subscribe button, uh, like, and drop a comment in the comment section. Nigeria and in the world are bad. Slavery has existed in various forms throughout the history of Nigeria. Slavery is now illegal internationally and in Nigeria. However, legality is up to overlook a different way of state cultural traditions, which views certain actions differently. In Nigeria, certain traditions and religious practices have led to the inevitable overlap between cultural, traditional, and religious practices as well as national legalization in many African states, which had the power to exert extra legal control over many lives, resulting in modern day slavery. The most common forms of modern this slavery currently are uh, human trafficking and child labor. Slavery has traditionally existed among the Yoruba people before it was officially abolished by the British in 1893. A Yoruba person who owns slaves displays sign of being a wealthy and influential person. Slaves typically worked for powerful allies of the Yoruba society and they were taxed with farm cultivation, clearing land and other personal purposes. There were three categories of slaves in the Yoruba society, namely the Iwokpa, the war captains and the criminals. Efustel Anibura, the Iyaloda of Ibadan, was reputed to be at the she cruel slave master who punished her slaves with deaths on decapitation. In, in some situations, slaves emerged as head of their household or eventually gained freedom, which brought about the free slave exhibition we are talking about. The Sokoto Caliphate was a powerful 19th century Sunni Muslim Caliphate in its capital, Sokoto, located in the northern Nigeria. The Caliphate brought decades of economic growth throughout the region as estimated one to 2.5 million non-Muslim slaves were captured during the full and end war. Slaves worked plantations, but they were also they also have been granted freedom conditionally on conversion to Islam. In 19,000, Sokoto had at least 1 million and perhaps as many as 2.5 million slaves captured. Most of the people in Yoruba 
didn't actually become slaves because of their tribe and their influential powers, which led to the free slave exhibition, which we talked about, and we came up with the idea to bring history back to the modern time. So we don't forget our history and forget what our past heroes passed through to make us who we are today. Now we would have been sold to either the white, either the Asians, or whatever. There will be a Nigerian thing now. So let's give a round of applause to our past heroes and giants. Never knew that a place like this existed in Port Harcourt here. You get it. This is so lovely. I must come here. Is anybody a slave here? Yeah? We, we are not slaves anymore. Eh? Forget what the government is doing to us. That one is another situation altogether. I said, can you connect what's happening in the past to what's happening now based on what you have seen here? You've not seen it. Don't worry. <laughs> there was a really song. Song. There was a really song that came out from that movie. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna stand up, take yeah, my yeah. feet, yeah. leave me, yeah, and we are going to a brand new home. Right. Far across, across the river, and you have freedom, freedom calling, calling, calling me to answer, but I keep on giving up. So guys, Actually, uh, the question and answer section is actually mad. How can uh, you like know, these photos? Just to update you on like what's been going on. And yeah, just to update you on what's been going on. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Don't worry. No, no, no. Not to hear it. Not to hear it. What did you say? Are you content creators? I hope you're not shading us. Nah, she can't. You know, I'm on the same train now. Okay, good, good, good. I can actually see where the, the slave masters were really tormenting the slaves. And I'll be like, ah, so back then, this is how um, um, Africans or Nigerians per, per se, we are, we are looking. Because I've heard where, uh, uh, normally, you know, we, we started moving via airline recently. So then, they were actually, uh, slaves were actually transported by, by sea or through the ocean. And you could actually see how this, this, these slaves are being bonded died one to another person then straight to the boats we had they, they, they sell them to a different country so it's just it only creates this imagination so since i was not part of the history i just have to like imagine and not remember it I'm vlogging. <laughs> just know that this place is mad. I can't even lie. Like, this is my first time to see somewhere like this in Port Harcourt City. To be honest, I can't even lie. Let's see something. <laughs> it's my first time to see something like this in Port Harcourt City. I swear, I can't even lie. And it's mad, mad, mad. Now, from, from writing the story to getting the prop to shooting, he assisted me. He assisted me. So, I want to say, boss, thank you. And I want to say thank you to Andrew. Yes. Thank you, Shane. Thank you. 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 Now before we shot, I have just three three people to, to work with before we shot. So God made it so things connected me to some of the, in fact, most almost all the persons. Oh, wow. 
This story is actually fictional, it did not happen. So it while seeing it, just try to be the news. Don't expect anything. Don't expect anything. <laughs> You can get it now. Uh, yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> you can get it. Are you plugging? Yes, I am. Oh. Not any shout outs. <laughs> It's uh, YouTube. Yeah, you can check me up on IG. But I don't really post on IG shows. YouTube. Do you have like Why not? So you can check. I'd have loved to use your phone, so I can just subscribe as well. Hi. Music doesn't get in here. I feel. Are you okay? Are you comfortable? Okay, but we have a session coming up very soon, and we will need you guys to just stand for a few two, two, three minutes, and then come back. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. That's fine. So what type of content do you shoot? Vlog. Just mostly vlogs. Yeah, for now. Yeah. Life with Chigo. Are you with your phone? My phone is down. Alright, it's fine. You can give me your Instagram so I can sure. follow you then. Maybe you can see it later. But then, like, once it's done. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, IG. This type of things, I don't know. It looks new to Portugal people. It's more of Lagos yeah. and Abuja, yes. Yeah. Mostly Abuja. Mostly Abuja. So this is yours. Yeah. So I'm like with Chigo. Thanks. Thanks. It's funny how you guys don't want to give yourself shout outs. You don't want to Instagram subscribe uh, followers or anything. I didn't wait first. <laughs> <laughs> that is fine, it's fine. You guys are lucky. Exactly. Stop the cap! <laughs> Back. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, I also have a brand. Uh, like follow follow yourself. I, I like referring to myself an, as an artist. Follow it yourself, no problem. Sorry. Yeah, I get to, uh, what do you call it, connect, Abby? As soon as connect, support, and promote everybody. All this connecting is a lot, uh, is, is uh, much in Lagos, like, especially. Yeah. I feel like they are using here, but like, present, I, I feel like their are community is in Botaco, but like, yeah. presently, I'm trying to, I'm working on what I do. I'm it's fresh back. Yeah, right now, I'm trying to like I'm trying to create a community around yeah. the brand I am working on. Okay. The brand is it's a fashion brand. Yeah. Basically, um you give me the community we are trying to like create is a community of creatives that are creating content and then like we are trying to like create content and promote 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 content
to get that around for those of you that feel like Bahako does not hold the value that you seek the question I'm going to ask is what are you doing to create the value that you're looking for there is nothing that they're doing in Lagos that cannot be replicated here alright yes Yes, the institutions here do not encourage creative expression, but I feel like we can we can decide to show that we can do these things on our own, right? So I would say, as creatives in Port Harcourt, we are slaves to this environment, and that can change. A few moments later, there's nothing that is so so intriguing to me right now than to see young people gather for something that we, we have an interest in and to see this minimum amount of people gather for this art form i'm really 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 proud of all of you in fact, I was just telling her, if I if I had an inkling that it would, be, it would be this big, we'd probably have our two spaces just open up completely. But I'm so glad that you came out. Thank you so much. You know what? I don't deserve as much flowers as God, right? Because. This is, uh, everything you see here is an uh, inspiration of God through me, you know, so this is my ministry happening right here, right? Okay, so uh, let me just say a few things. I'm a fashion stylist by uh, profession, really, when I started out. <laughs> but when I came to Portacon, as most of us know, there's so much trouble in this town. There's so much. There's exploring is very hard. And, you know, I mean, we need to put food on the table and we need to do a lot of things. So people don't like being paid to get to get dressed because they just have what to wear for an event, right? And we don't have celebrities. No shape. No shape. No shape. <laughs> right. Um, but then I thought about um, a creative space that I can actually infuse fashion, art, um, music, everything that I'm interested in pretty much. And it's called a concept store. And it's called that because it's a fusion of different parts of your life. Yeah. If you're not an interior person, you're likely to be a fashion person. Yeah. If you're not a fashion person, you're likely to be an, an experienced person, which is why we have events like this. You know, so this store does not just cater to things that we sell, it also caters to experiences that we create. And so that's uh, so welcome to my mind in a space. You know what, let me just say something quickly about the exhibition itself. Um, I find free slave as a thing very, very captivating. You know, I was telling someone that it's it's a very it's a huge paradox that Nigeria is an independent nation, but we are still not free, right? So that's why this exhibition made so much sense on an independence weekend. But the best part about it in all of this is that as we are all Nigerians, the only place we are free is in our mind. So don't let any country limit you. Don't let what we don't have limit you. Don't let the, the everything that is going on around. Don't let that because you know what? Slaves back then they had chains, right? They were not moving. They were not doing a lot of things, but they wrote music. A lot of them had so much in them that they needed to explore. But when they were not in chains, they used their voices and they spoke and they sang and they did things you know so don't ever feel the need to limit yourself because of what you don't have just really start on what you have and you are enough say i'm enough i need somebody to actually say that like you know that i love you guys
guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>